everybody. In this episode, we are going to make a puzzle cube assembly that looks like this. First thing you got to do is make sure that you have all of your parts. So you should have five parts. Here's my one, two, three, four, five parts. Um, I would, like my example here, I would color mine to make sure that they work. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So you're going to first do create, and you're just going to call this your puzzle cube, and then your initials, please. Take a second to warm up and load up. And uh, you are gonna, gonna come down here, right here where it says assembly, okay? Something that we have not used before, and hit insert. And because we've organized these in our documents, so we're gonna hit other documents on shape, and we should have a puzzle cube folder. If not, it should show up. So um, please pick a part that's like on the bottom because we're gonna work from the bottom and work our way up. So I'm gonna pick um, this yellow part. I'm gonna click right there. And I'm gonna just click it one time and hit the green check mark. Okay, so that's gonna be our base piece. And the first thing I'm gonna do, or the next thing I'm gonna do is right click on this and go to fix. So that means it just fixes it, it, it locks it in that position. Um, nothing else, uh, this one won't move. So I, I click it, I drag it, it's not moving around. Next thing I'm gonna do is bring in a second part that's gonna slide right into there. So I'm gonna hit other documents, I'm gonna go to on shape, I'm gonna hit puzzle, and my white piece, um, click that one more time, there we go. Um, there is a little bit of a lag on this, so hit the green checkbox. Um, so there's a little bit of a lag on here. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. And we are going to use what is called the planar mate. Okay, the planar mate, uh, what it does is there's kind of like two parts to it. So as I click on that planar mate right there, I'm gonna click on um, this front part here. And you'll see like that circle kind of pie that shows up and I wanna connect it there. Um, so what it did was it just made it flush, which means you can kind of see it went like into it. So I want to flip that around by hitting these arrows. And there we go. I'm going to hit the green checkbox. Okay. Even though it's up, I got to rotate that around. And I'll do that here with another planar mate. So I click on the planar mate again, or it's right there. I'm going to click on the bottom. And I'm going to click on the bottom of this. And you can see there's another pie. So. Okay, so now what that did was it mated it together, which means it connected it together. Um, and so if I flip it here, uh, you can see that it's totally inside. I'm gonna hit the green checkbox, and you'll see that now that is flush. So it's flush with the bottom, which means it's even. Um, this white part in here, let me, if I pull this off, there we go, okay. When it slides in there, okay, this white part and this uh, yellow part are connected. Um, but with everything we need to, it has three um, axes that we're moving it on. So we want to do one more planar mate, which means we're going to flush this side with this side. And it flushed together, but if I hit this green checkbox, all of a sudden it snaps there. Um, and now since this yellow part is fixed, and now we have zero degrees of freedom here because it's all on there, uh, we're locked in there. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is bring in your next part, and this is, you know, it's different for everybody. So I'm gonna bring in my green part, And again, we're gonna go around and we're going to um, flush or mate by using this planar mate. Okay, so this planar mate, I'm going to flush. I want this side to be flush with this side. And you can see it flushes it right away. So I'm gonna hit the screen checkbox. Okay, now you can grab it and move it. I want this side right here to be on top of that. So it's going to snap down. So if I grab my planer mate and I click on, I want this to be on there. Um, now it flushed it. I want to, I think I want to flip it. There we go. Um, so now it's on top. It's connected to. 
and I'm going to hit the green checkbox. And again, so we've we've mated it twice. We've got this side flush, we've got it mated, and now I'm going to flush one more part, which will be this side right there with this side of the gray right there. And I'm going to snap the green. All right. And so you might be able to do this with like two flushes, maybe even three flushes. Um, so if you do something with two flushes, you're probably going to need a mate. All right. Next, I'm going to bring in the blue part. Whoops. Totally missed that. Let's try going back. Slow down. Here we go. Click it one time. Click the green checkbox. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to mate this with that because it's going to snap right there. Uh, it automatically flushes, so I want to flip it around. I want to flush this side with this side. Oh, that did not work. So one thing you can do is you can you can always hover over and see what just happened. And if I want to flip that, then I can change it. So you can always adjust in here. So this is your, your list of features that you've just done. And then I want to flush this with this the green checkbox. Okay, now if I grab this and it doesn't move, it is fully constrained in there. And finally, I want to bring in my red part. Do you ever have like an error or something that says like, oh, you need to title the part, then you can, you can go ahead and do that. Okay, um, so I want to flush this side with this side. And if you're ever like, wait, that doesn't look good, you can always grab it and drag it out. I want to flush this top. This is going to rotate this top with this top right here. So as you can see, I'm going to try to pull this off a little bit. There we go. And then finally, I'm going to flush uh, this side with this side and hit the green checkbox snaps there. If I try and pull any of the pieces off, they're not going to move because they are fully constrained. I'm going to rotate it around, make sure that there's no parts that are overlapping. And it looks like the puzzle fits together. Looks like we've done all the dimensioning correctly. And it looks like I'm ready to make this in real life. All right. Um, so make sure that you hit the share button and you hit the link sharing button and you turn it on and you copy this and you turn it into your teacher so that he or she can see it. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great rest of the day.